Welcome folks to BitScience YouTube channel. This is a tutorial series on Salesforce Lightning Web Components where we explore advanced functionalities to supercharge your Salesforce experience. Are you prepared to optimize Salesforce Lightning within your Visual Force pages? Today's tutorial explores integrating Lightning component with Visual Force, harnessing Lightning capability while utilizing your current infrastructure. We'll start by examining the integration process using Lightning Up, enabling the smooth incorporation of Lightning components in Visual Force pages. Then learn to expose and invoke Lightning components, seamlessly blending both platforms. Additionally, we'll discuss instantiating Lightning web components. Finally, we will guide you through crafting dynamic Lightning components, empowering developers of all levels to enhance Visual Force pages. Whether you are an experienced developer seeking to broaden your skills or a newcomer eager to delve into Salesforce development, you are in the right spot. Without further delay, let's dive in. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. All of the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and computer science education. We are going to use Visual Force page. So using Visual Force page, you can take your component from, uh, from your build area to the classic. How we do that? So first of all, we are going to create an Aura application. We are using Aura application here to package our component. All the components that you plan to take to uh, Visual Force page. Uh, I will not say use a generic one. Huh? Uh, you can club components together as per their requirements. And then you can choose at the level of Visual Force page, you can choose which one you want really from the application. So our application is used to wrap your component. So you can you know, box your components together to send them to the next level for extension. Yes, your Aura application should extend Lightning Out app. Such Aura application which you are planning to take outside your Lightning mode, where you want to launch your component outside Lightning mode. So such applications should extend Lightning colon out app. If you're wondering what, what will happen to SLDS, because you can only extend one. So don't worry, Lightning out app will have SLDS already inbuilt into it. So it's already, you know, extending SLDS. Now, the components that you want to take outside Lightning experience, you are going to add them here as a dependency, not as simply component name, C colon delivery list map in Angular bracket. No, you will launch them as a dependency. The advantage of using Aura colon dependency is while compiling this Aura application, pushing this component, pushing this application to the target org, in that, at that point of time, it's going to check, is this delivery list map available in C namespace? Is your badge component available in the Lightning namespace? If yes, all okay. So it's kind of, you know, search your dependency, bind, not hard bind, just bind your dependency, in your application. So that's kind of a good thing that your application is not looking for the component at runtime and telling you, oh, I can't see your C namespace. And then you realize that, okay, probably this namespace is not available in my org. So something like that. So it's a good thing that you get to check that before you deploy it. Then it's time to Visual Force page. So you create an Apex page and you include a library that will help you to use, help you with the method using which you can load your application and the components inside it. So that library you can include via this Apex page tag, include lightning. The library is this one, lightning out dot js so if you get this lightning dot out dot js file you can anytime just copy this path uh, slash lightning slash lightning dot out dot js the whole javascript file will be visible to you and uh, yeah, you can search for the 
every methods, what they are using as a parameter, how they're working and all of that. I'll go further to explain this page here. I'm creating a div tag. We know what is div tag and I've given an ID to it. Okay, just to identify this location. I'm using this div as a placeholder. At runtime, when we create the component, we will choose this div to launch the component here. Okay, now let's focus on the methods. I have a script tag and you know what we say about script tag in a Visual Force page? Your JavaScript, you take care of that. So here, you need to be careful because there's no error that you're gonna see. And if there is an error, it will not load. Huh? So the first we are using here dollar lightning dot use method. Use method you will provide two parameter. First parameter is the name of the application you want to launch. Second, while launching the application, what you want to do? That's a function. So inside a function, I'm calling another method create component, and I'm creating a component that I need. So to create component, you pass three parameters. Number one, the name of the component you want to load here. The parameter of the component, okay? So uh, certain parameters, uh, certain uh, attributes, uh, some components needs its properties. Like tile needs student, okay? So you need to pass those properties here, of course, which are public. Then you say the placeholder ID where this component will be launched. So something like this. So application first will load and while loading the application will create this component. If you want to create another component, what should I do? After this create component line, you can call another create component. You will mention the name of the component that is our BF app. Then function. And body of function. Inside the body of function, you will use dollar lightning dot create C capital, second C capital, create component. And it's going to take first parameter name, second parameter par property, third parameter is map dev or something like that. Okay, any div basically. Don't forget to put semicolon and all that. All right. So try this way. And there you have it. With these advanced techniques in your toolkit, you're well equipped to harness the full potential of Salesforce Lightning Web Component. Stay tuned for more tutorial and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for future updates. Thank you for watching and happy coding.